5 seconds to go. Start. The aforementioned rules provide a complete mechanism and procedure in the matter of holding an inquiry in the cases where the major penalties are imposed. Rule 73 provides that the charges framed shall be so precise and clear as to give sufficient indication to the charged government servant of the facts and circumstances against him. The proposed documentary evidences and the name of the witnesses proposed to prove the same along with oral evidence, if any, shall be mentioned in the charge sheet. The charged government servant will be required to put in written statement of his defence in person on a specified date which shall not be less than 15 days from the date of issue of charge sheet. He shall indicate as to whether he desires to cross examine the witnesses mentioned in the charge sheet and whether desires to give or produce evidence in his defence. The charge sheet along with the copy of the documentary evidences mentioned therein and list of witnesses and their statements, if any, shall be served on the charged government servant personally or by registered post at the address mentioned in the official records in case the charge sheet could not be served in a forced manner, the charge sheet shall be served by publication in a daily newspaper having a wide circulation. Where the charged government servant denies the charge, the inquiry officer shall proceed to call the witnesses proposed in the charge sheet and record their oral evidence in presence of the charged government servant who shall be given opportunity to cross-examine such witnesses. On failure of the charged government servant to appear on the date fixed in the inquiry or at any stage of the proceeding in spite of the service of the notice on him or having knowledge of the date, the inquiry officer shall proceed with the inquiry ex parte. In such a case, the inquiry officer shall record the statement of witnesses mentioned in the charge sheet in absence of the charged government servant. The disciplinary authority, if it considers necessary to do so, may by an order appoint a government servant or a legal practitioner to be known as presenting officer to present on its behalf the case in support of the charge. The first contention raised by the learned counsel for the petitioner is that the charges are vague and do not disclose the allegation on the basis of which such charges are based. The specific stand taken is that documents on the basis of which the charges have been framed have not been supplied to the petitioner. In order to substantiate his plea, stress has been laid on various communications sent by the petitioner to the respondents to furnish the documents on the basis of which charges have been framed. Various correspondence have been exchanged by the petitioner with the respondents in this behalf in which persistently it has been emphasized that he is unable to file reply in absence of documents allegedly supporting the charges framed against him. Stop.